There was a pristine place in the Albertine Rift in the Congo Basin where I was where I was looking, and they had this fire. So the fire comes through, mm-hmm. and it's it's intense, and some of the old growth is taken out. And so what happens immediately after this? Fern infestation. No seed is going to hit the ground because it's going to hit this bed of ferns. Yeah. And and they go in and they say, well, we we have to have the forest back. Like right now, right now, right now, we need this. Yeah, and I'm like, that's, that's I'm, the I'm like thinking, like, I'm thinking, like, well, wait a minute. Patient. You know, you're you're an expert, but look at this. This this infestation of ferns has taken place. So shouldn't we like observe? Yeah, think about what what is the meaning of this? And okay, the seeds can't quite get to the ground now, but. If, building biomass. Building yeah, yeah. Biomass. What's 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 happening? Yeah, soil. Yeah. Right. Building soil. So so yeah. It always seems the to disturbance, be the disturbance, and that's the reaction to the disturbance. And that then nature wants to heal that spot. Fill, yeah. fill space in. Yeah. So it's a band aid. Yeah, yeah, it's it a, it's a bandage which comes over this this mm-hmm. this wound, mm-hmm. and when no. the the wound heals, then it disappears. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It just takes time and patience. type of plants that are maybe non-native but have some characteristic right. that's been removed. Like I was I was looking at some places where there's massive degradation and the pretty tough kind of weird things with especially the ones that like stick to you oh, and, that yeah. kind of stuff. and weeds. often they have well the whole concept of weeds, I mean, what is a weed? It's like a plant that we don't know what it's for. It's where you don't want it. We don't want it. But, but I think, generally speaking, what's happening with those is that often I see in these degraded states, they have the ability to drive their tap roots That's why they're there. real deep. Streamophiles. And they, yeah, and they break up the compaction. And what happens when they break up the compaction, mm-hmm. other plants can come in. That's exactly right. And then right. they're gone. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. basically they That's don't their stay job. there. They only perform a function. They're a colonizer. And when we take them out, it's like, what are you doing? You're taking out the thing that's going to process this. And this yep. this conversation is not being had. It is being had. Well, it's being had in, in specialists. Right. Yeah, so what we have to do is we have to have this in ecosystem restoration camps yeah. so that the whole public is aware of this. Right. You yeah. see the bigger ecosystem. You're absolutely right. People understood that, okay, there's this non-native thing and we have to get rid of it. It's like, whoa, wait a minute. That's performing a function, a valuable function. Mm-hmm. And if we just leave it alone, and it will create the conditions for the next wave of the next plant. And on it goes. So it's a useful plant. We're changing the intention of human civilization, and we're changing the the possibilities. Like you, think right, it, you think it takes a disaster for us to reach that level as a species? Well, there, the disasters. I mean, how many disasters do we need? Planetary one, where we might lose the atmosphere or something. Well, like that? no, we've got yeah. we've we you know if we lose Puerto Rico or we lose uh, um, New Orleans to Katrina, to, you know east coast of the United States or we have an undersea earthquake which causes a tsunami, tsunami which takes out a, yeah. a multiple nuclear power plants. I mean, what, what is it? When do we, when, 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 when is do we enough change? enough? Yeah. yeah. You know, that's enough. It's enough to see it. So, so you have wildfires, you have drought in the Netherlands. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, when you start to, when you, when you start to see these things, you go, well, that's not possible. You know, yeah. What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. So we need this meditation. It's like a, it's like a collective meditation mm. where we sit down and we say, who are we? You know, what what are we doing here? Mm. What's the purpose of, of, of our lives? Mm. Some kind of mass species awakening. I, I would say it is it's a tsunami of consciousness. Mm. So consciousness has to, to go throughout the world and humanity must reach the next level of thinking. It's not cosmic consciousness, so it's like not a cult or but it's a, a pragmatic uh, expanded consciousness. It's right? a it's yeah. a it's the next level. Yeah. The next level for hu- humans mm. if we're going to survive includes functional ecosystems. Yeah. The hydrology we all must understand how hydrological systems function 
What is the role of the, how is the weather naturally regulated? How is the climate naturally regulated? If we don't, if, 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 that's our biggest problem. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Wouldn't it be good to understand that? Part of our education should be. It should be for everybody, yeah. and everybody should be engaged. It's like reading, writing, arithmetic. It's kind but of everybody like, well, should be yeah. engaged in inquiry, because yeah. it's yeah. not like it's well, well known. They, they, they it's not like there's a <clears throat> prescription for it. Right. Because the economy is completely theoretical. It doesn't have any real basis, and we need to actually get real. The, the value is in biodiversity, biomass, and accumulated organic matter, not in stuff, not in derivatives, not in things. Right. And we don't have to buy and sell things in order to create wealth. We have to restore ecological function. That creates wealth. And that wealth then doesn't accumulate to certain individuals. It benefits everyone. It's decentralized. Yeah.